Hello TV land. My name is Wednesday 13. I play a lead singer on TV. But on this bus, I'm still a lead singer. So I really don't know why I told you that. But I'm here to give you my five tips of touring that I've learned over these many, many years of touring. And just saying there's five is, this is just the first five I thought of. So um, I would say, number one, you gotta have good band guys you, you know you got to have guys that can live together where you don't go oh man here comes him let's go eat over there let's get away from that guy you don't want a bad seed bad seeds they're exactly what they're called bad seeds they just ruin the whole the whole crop and it's just ruined so stay away from dumb band guys don't get a dumb band guy in your band get a cool guy that'll work out a lot I went through years and years of different members and stuff and not that they were dumb guys just we didn't jail and get along like like I hate these guys equally you know like my other band I hated this guy more than the other guy so it wasn't an equal balance of hate so we wanted to get that equal I hate you you hate me and we know our place so, it's, uh, so that's number one you know just, that's what you need to do. get a good band that hate each other on the same level. That's number one. All right, number two. What's worse than a bad band member? A bad crew member. And that seems to happen more than often. I I fired more crew people than than uh, what's a place that fires people? Like Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, just having a bad crew. Uh, I mean, since my experience of touring. I've met a million awesome people. Trey Littlefield's crew is a perfect example of an awesome crew. Um, just good guys. And then just over the years, you'll have that typical kind of rock star crew guy that you don't know until you hire, and then you hear him talking to some fan and going, oh, I want to meet Wednesday. Well, I'll let you get on the bus and hold his hat. And then I've found bus drivers doing that and losing my hats and losing coats and things like that. So. I killed that guy, by the way, but that was in England, so it doesn't really affect the laws over here. So that was like a free kill, what we call. So uh, yeah, bad crew, get them out of there. Number three, don't bring your girlfriend, don't bring your wife if she sucks. If she's cool, more than welcome, but if they suck. Let's be honest, most of them do. Just, there's just no need up here. We're already pissed off. Why are you going to come up here and piss us off more? So just leave them at home. You'll see them when you get back. It's just, it's just how it is. Another thing, don't, don't overpack like I did. I brought 39,000 t-shirts and we're only out for uh, 34 days. 40 days? 40 days. 40 days. Yeah. But, I also like to wear multiple clothes at multiple times to look bigger, to impress stagehand guys that lift stuff. So I'm like, oh yeah, and I'll put on like six shirts and like lift up a box and they're like, dude, that guy's tough. But that's just one of my things I do. The number five rule is to be in this business and be in a touring band and tour as much as we do or most bands that I know is you gotta learn to be a pirate. You gotta learn to live like a pirate. You gotta be able to go, oh man, I was just eating that piece of pizza and it fell on the floor. It's way past a five second rule. The pirate would give it 20 seconds, 25 seconds, just eat the pizza. So you gotta learn how to live like a pirate. Eat the same way, you just gotta live like a dirt bag. And soon enough, you'll become one. And it'll just be natural. You'll naturally just be a messy, dirty individual and you won't think about anyone else and you'll be uh, you'll be called an asshole to most people but we think pirate sounds cooler than asshole so yeah be a pirate kids